Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video on Picard's method and before we start uh, the derivation of uh, the formula of uh, this Picard's method let me tell you one thing that this is the easiest method that we have in this uh, learning video and uh, uh, whatever we have studied till now in the big uh, unit that is the numerical method this is going to be the easiest one okay so without wasting time let us see what is uh, Def, uh, what is the derivation of the f pick, uh, formula by Picard's method? Okay, so we are given dy by dx is equal to f of xy. Okay, given y of is equal to y0 when x is equal to x0. Then those are the initial conditions. Okay, now I can write this equation as dy is equal to f of xy dx. Okay, now I am going to integrate this from limit y0 to y into the limit x0 to x okay now apply the integration so what is integration of 1 dy that is y and limits are y0 to y and i will be keeping this as it is x0 to x f of x y dx okay now uh, when we apply the upper limit minus lower limit, we will get y minus y0 is equal to integration x0 to x f of xy dx. Okay. Now, what you can do is you can just take this uh, uh, term to the right. So, minus will become plus. So, it is like plus this and say this is to be equation number A. Okay. Now, uh, we are going to find out the approximation based on this like first approximation y1 second approximation and then we'll write the generalized form so for first approximation for first approximation for first approximation what is that first approximation y1 we put we put y is equal to y0 in f of xy of equation a. So what we will be getting? We will be getting y1 is equal to y0 plus integration x0 to x f of xy 0 dx. Now this is the first approximation that we have. Uh, and looking at the first approximation, now you got an idea that what would be my uh, second approximation? The second approximation y2 would be, yes, y0 plus integration from x0 to x, f of x, y1 dx. So this is my y2, okay? Now, uh, just looking at y1 and y2, I want you to just pause the video for a few seconds and try to write down the general form that is the yn okay so pause the video write the general form by looking at y1 y2 and try to write down y and after that resume the video so i hope you might have uh, found out yn so i am writing in general in general yn is equal to y0 plus integration from x0 to x f of x y n minus 1 dx okay so this is the general formula so from this uh, uh, whatever we have done up to this you just need to remember only one thing this general formula because with the help of this you can get so many things right so let us take an example on this So let me write down the question. Use Picard's method. Use Picard's method to solve to solve the differential equation. To solve the differential equation. 
and the differential equation is y dash is equal to x square plus y square with the initial condition y of 0 is equal to 1 find find y1 and y2 sometime you just need to find out y1 and y2 sometimes you need to find out the y1 y2 at some point say point 1 point 2 likewise okay so now let us start the uh, solution of this problem so what is given to us we are given a function let f of x y is equal to x square plus y square okay also we are given x0 is 0 and y0 is 1 okay this is y0 this is x0 now we are going to make use of the uh, Picard's method so you can write therefore by Picard's method therefore by Picard's method we have so what we have by Picard's method by Picard's method we have this yn so yn is equal to y0 plus integration from x0 to x f of x y n minus 1 dx okay say this is to be equation number 8 now as you know that we are going to find out y1 and y2 so for y1 what i need to substitute for y1 i need to substitute n is equal to 1 and for n is equal to 1 i will be getting f of x y 1 minus 1 0 so for y1 what i need x y1 so let us first of all find out uh, f of x y1 so what is my f of x y1 f of x what is y1 1 and what is f of x y x square plus y square so what is f of x1 that is x square plus 1 square that is 1 now you can put put n is equal to 1 in equation in equation a we get so what we get we get y1 is equal to y0 that is 1 plus okay if you want you can write formula first y0 plus integration x0 to x f of x y y0 what is this is y0 correct y0 dx okay now you have all these values so just substitute these values and try to get y1 so what is y0 y0 is 1 plus what is x0 0 x as it is then what is f of x y0 that is x square plus 1 dx now you can integrate this as very elementary uh, integration so this is 1 plus what is integration of x square that is x cube by 3 plus x and say limit 0 to x so upper limit will give you the same thing lower limit will contribute to 0 so what is my y1 my y1 is 1 plus x plus x cube by 3 so this is my y1 likewise we can find out y2 so for y2 what i need to put i need to put n is equal to 2 so it will be giving you y0 plus summation uh, integration this f of x 2 minus 1 so i need to find out f of x y1 for y2 okay so let us uh, find out first of all f of x y1 and then we'll find out y2 also f of x y1 is equal to f of x what is my y1 what is my y1 1 plus x plus x cube by 3 okay so this is nothing but x square plus 1 plus x plus x cube by 3 whole square now solve this so this is like x square now apply a plus b plus c whole square so this is 1 plus x square now square of this is x to the power 6 by 9 plus 
2 x 2 into 1 into x then 2 into x into this so this is 2 by 3 x to the power of 4 plus next would be what is it 2 by 3 x cube okay so we have this if you want you can arrange it like uh, x to the power 6 by 9 plus 2 by 3 x to the power 4 plus 2 by 3 x cube plus x square plus x square 2 x square plus this is 2 x plus 1. So this is what we have as my f of x y 1. So what I am going to do here is I am just going to put <coughs> just going to put n is equal to 2 in equation a so when i put n is equal to 2 in equation a what i will be getting i will be getting y2 and what is y2 y0 plus integration x0 to x f of x y1 dx simple now you have all these values, substitute and try to get y2. This is my x0 to x. Okay. So let me take this one. So y2 is equal to y1 that is 1 plus integration x0 is 0 x. f of x y1 just we have found out. x to the power 6 by 9 plus 2 by 3 x to the power 4 plus 2 by 3 x cube plus 2 x square plus 2 x plus 1 dx and now you can easily found out these uh, uh, things so it is like 1 plus what is it 1 by 9 x to the power 7 by 7 plus 2 by 3 x to the power 5 by 5 plus 2 by 3 into x to the power 4 by 4 plus 2 x cube by 3 plus 2 x square by 2 plus x and limit 0 to x. Okay. Why I am taking these values? Uh, why I am writing this? Because just we have to apply the elementary integration. Right. So uh, after applying elementary integration, you just need to apply the limits. Upper limit will give you the same quantity. Lower limit will contribute to 0. So finally, my y2 comes out to be 1 plus what is it? x to the power 7 by 63 plus 2 by 15 x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 by 6 plus 2 x cube by 3 plus x square plus x okay so this is the y2 that we want so i hope this video lecture is making sense and uh, with the help of this you can solve problems on uh, the same topic just instead of uh, uh, f of x y here it is x square plus y square we'll be getting something like x minus 2 y something like that okay so uh, just go through it if you have any doubt you can contact me so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you